So the next technology that we are going to look at is uh, the infrared uh, thermography. Okay, this is another technology that will help us to ensure the reliability of the electric motor system. Remember, from the input of the power supply, okay, to our feeder to our electric motor, you will see that all of these lines they are made up of uh, conductors, okay, and these conductors they have some levels of resistances and even the windings of the electric motor itself, they have some level of resistances, which means that as current is flowing through all of these, okay, because of that resistance from I square arrow, there is bound to be some heat up on this, uh, okay, on these conductors. And the heat up will be highest at the point where we have higher resistances. Are we getting it? So the infrared thermography, since this heat is given off in the form of uh, infrared energy, you can check out our training on uh, infrared thermography, okay? So since this heat is given off in form of infrared energy, though they are not visible to the ordinary eye, but we have instruments or equipment that will help us to look at this energy, infrared energy, as it's coming out from those heated uh, body, and that is the infrared camera, as you can see. Okay, so this infrared energy that is coming out will now be converted into a visible form that will now make sense to us. Okay, so like we said. Since we have resistances on the line, heat will be generated during normal operation because current will flow through. So we have the normal heating level. On the thermogram, we have what is normal for all of these components, including the electric motor, as we'll see later. So any deviation from what is normal, as we view on the thermogram, as you can see here, okay, you can attest to the fact that these are not the same. There is something happening here, okay? So if there is any deviation, that will tell us that something is building and it is definitely by because of a resistance build up around that area. So what can cause such resistance build up? is what we need to check. And remember, those resistance build up, build up can introduce unbalance in the system and unbalance can increase the heating of, of the system and reduce the integrity and reliability of uh, our electric motor system, okay? So we want to use this to detect hot spots in the electrical system. Hot spot is synonymous with spots or points of higher resistance that can introduce resistance imbalance into the system. Are we getting it? Into our electric motor system, which we know is detrimental to the operations of uh, our electric motor. Okay? So the electric motor itself, as you can see on the right, okay, it has its own normal thermogram. Remember, we have windings around the stator. So these windings, they are made up of resistive materials or conductors. And as current is flowing through them, heat is generated, and that heat is conducted onto the frame of the electric motor, okay? So that heat that is conducted onto the frame of the electric motor is given off in form of the infrared, which we are seeing here. So this is a normal thermogram. You see that the middle of the motor will be hotter. Are we getting it? because the, the windings, they are concentrated in the middle of the motor. So remember, as we saw earlier, at the non-drive end, we have fan that is covered by this shroud or cover, fan cover, okay? So you can see the cooling effect of the fan. So if the fan is not working and the motor is on, this cooling effect will not be there. You will not see this gradient from cool to high. 
everything will be at the same temperature. So that will tell you that your fan has filled. Then if you have those fins, remember we said we don't need them to be blocked. If you have them blocked, okay, you will not also see this thermogram. Then if you come to the front, remember we have bearing around this front housing. So that bearing, because of the frictional force around the bearing, heat is always generated around the bearing when it is working. And that heat is given off into the bear, onto the bearing housing. Are we getting it? So that heat, you will see them, you see that heat around the bearing housing. So this is a normal thermogram. But this heat around the, the housing, we have the normal level. If it goes beyond what is normal, okay, uh, you will know that there is a, a problem developing in that area. So that means that we need to carry out the quantitative analysis, okay, which means that we need to do the delta T analysis. So if here, maybe here now, is what we have as the highest temperature on this thermogram. Say here is about 48 degrees Celsius. And then we have our ambient, ambient temperature to say 32. Are we getting so our delta T in this case, okay, will be around 16 degrees Celsius. So 16 degrees Celsius delta T is okay. But anything above 40, 40 degrees Celsius means that something bad is already happening on any equipment, okay, and especially the electric auto system. Okay, so on the left, you see what we we'll see with our ordinary eye. This is the visual image, and this is the thermogram of this visual image. So what we see on the motor is a normal thermogram because we see the cooling effect of the fan. We see the hottest spot on the electric motor, and then this is the jar bus. Okay, we are also seeing what is happening around the jar bus. Okay, I will know the reason why because we have meshing jars, a lot of friction. Okay, so it's expected that it should heat up, but it also has a normal heating level. So with the infrared thermography be able to ascertain the reliability or able to improve or we'll see what is happening from the power system and even the mechanical system of uh, the electric motor system. We can also look at the pumps too. You can see the driven load. It has its own normal thermogram, okay, what we are used to seeing. So if there are deviations, you also see them around the bearing housings, if they fought with the impellers, you also see all of these deviations. So this infrared thermography in conjunction with uh, other technology will definitely give us what is happening around the electric motor. So if you look here too, you see, you see the normal thermogram of the electric uh, motor itself, okay? Then, on this, you see from the circuit breaker, you see this clearly shows that uh, we have loose connection here that can result to increased resistance that can result to voltage imbalance in our system. Okay, so if the system is overloaded, you will see that there won't be any temperature gradient. The three phase will be overheated. You see the hot, high temperature. So you see with the infrared camera, or infrared thermography, or the infrared, the, this technology, we will be able to look at the entire electric motor system from the power supply through the feeder lines, all the components of the feeder lines, the electric motor itself, and of course, the, the load we have on the electric motor, the compressor, the pump, and the fans, and what have you. Okay? So this is another technology that will help us to improve the reliability of our electric motor system. So all of these put together will definitely help us to ensure the reliability of our electric motor system. Okay? So which means that we consider the reliability of the electrical system 
and the mechanical system of the electric motor system. Remember, we identified the six fault zones and uh, what to do to ascertain that those fault zones will not affect the reliability of uh, our electric motor systems. Okay. Then on the mechanical part, we identified three technologies. The vibration analysis that will help us to look at the electric motor and the load pump compressors and the fans, okay, the integrity. Then the ensuring the reliability of the rotating component, which is the bearings, okay, ultrasonic grazing will help us to know how to apply the right grease 